This video is about how to get rid of the scent of smoke in a home. So I bought this house, just closed earlier today. It's gonna be a rental. Um, it's a really awesome house. It's about 10 years old. And I think the original owners smoked in it the whole time. They replaced the floor, it's a wood floor, but unfortunately, I'm gonna tear it up. I'm gonna put it in the upstairs of my barn, make that a loft apartment. But this is, uh, it stinks really bad. And let me show you what I mean. When you look at the edge, oh, here we go. The edge of these switches, you can, you can see the tar build up from where they would touch the switches. It's just beyond disgusting. Oh, here we go. That yellowing is tar where they would wipe the switches. It's so gross. So to get rid of the stink, I got some primer that I ordered and it's coming, uh, I don't know when it's gonna be here. Um, but I'm going to spray the whole house with that certain primer. Um, the other thing, so the real estate company I bought this house from, they went through, they did a really surfacey job of cleaning. And you can see like the streaks on the floor. I don't know if you could see that on the video. But really, when someone smokes in a home, there's all this nasty tar build up, right? So, right here, that is not dust. Oh shoot, I don't know if you can even see that. But, there I licked my other finger to give it a little rub. It's, it's just covered with tar. And that is where it's holding the stench in. You can see right here, I rubbed it off right there already. But all of these fixtures, there's tar, not just dust, all over them. So what I'm gonna do to get rid of this stink is I'm gonna tear, take out all the fixtures, replace the appliances, tear out the floor, the wood floor, and this carpet. I mean, the carpet looks decent, but I guarantee it's just loaded up with stink. So that's gross. Um, I'm gonna turn off this re recording and turn on the flash. We're on one sec. Okay, so the flash is on. You can see the edge of that light switch. That is disgusting. Um, the only way to really effectively get rid of that is to replace them. So I'm replacing all the switches. The other thing they've got going is the switches or the square. And then some of the outlets are these old school smiley face creepy ones. Some of them are upside down. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of a project. Oh, hey, what's up? But, really cool little home. So, of course I have to go to work tomorrow morning, but I'm going to show a few of the other issues this house has and how I plan on fixing it to get rid of that stink. All right, that fan might be a bit loud. I'll turn it off. Some of the very first things I'm doing, opening the windows, aiming a fan outside. I've got the garage door open so air can flow through the house. <clears throat> I'm gonna set out these cups full of vinegar uh, throughout the house. Vinegar absorbs stink. The other thing I'm gonna do, because all the windows were kind of grubby, um, you can see there's a film on the windows and that film, well, this I've already sprayed with vinegar and water, like 60, 40 vinegar. Um, 
my goal with this is to get the stinky tar off the windows. You can see they've cleaned these windows, but there's that tar buildup over time. It's just really difficult to get rid of. So that is what I'm doing right now. Um, this is gonna be a project. All right, this window is right outside the master bedroom. I did one row of spraying, but you can see these smudges. Really, all these smudges are doing is displacing the tar, the nasty grease tar. So if I rub that with my finger, it's, I mean, it's just disgusting. But this is the process for getting rid of that tar. So this vinegar 60-40 mix will absorb the scent of the cigarette. The vinegar scent goes away pretty quick, really. But I'm gonna load this place up. I'm gonna be gone for about three weeks. So it's kind of a bummer. But that whole window's covered. I'm gonna come back through after I get all the windows and just clean off these sills, just cause they're painted drywall. I don't want those to get all bubbly and jacked. All right, all the windows are soaking with vinegar and water. This is the return air for the air conditioner. So they replaced this vent or this filter but look at this, that's tar. That's from when I inspected the house. Right there. I'm gonna lick my finger. That is just tar buildup. So disgusting. So the way I'm gonna fix this is I'm gonna take out that entire thing, probably just replace it. And then everything up in there, all the duct work and stuff, I'm just gonna soak in vinegar. Hopefully that'll work. I'll let you know. You can see the discoloration from the smoke and the tar going up into the ventilation system. I might end up hiring a buddy to crawl up in the attic and replace all that duct work. But I think our solution will ultimately work. Look at that. It's just disgusting. That's in your lungs, smokers. Oh, so gross. <laughs> Even the tops here, well, that's mostly dust and a bad paint job. But all these things need pulled, cleaned, reused or replaced that is just disgusting so much cigarette tar look at that crap so gross that's just my vinegar water doesn't really touch it, but it absorbs the stink, so that's my main goal. What I've done, that's all tar and dirt. Nasty. So I've turned the uh, fan on, and I'm just going to hose a bunch of vinegar around here. And let it work its magic. So that's all going right down on the wood floor that I'm pulling out anyways, but if you're doing this with flooring that you do not plan on replacing, I would recommend being a little more gentle with it. This 
this is the uh, regulator uh, for one of the guest rooms. Remember, this house is only about 10 years old. That all used to be an off-white color that's just completely covered with tar. Right there by the rivets. It's nasty. The only way to truly get rid of that stink is to replace all this. So that's what we're doing. That one's next. I just ho squirted this register full of uh, my little mixture. Look at the drops. They're coming out yellow from the tar. Vinegar and water is just plain white. This is nasty stuff. All right, this is the master closet vent. They had this one closed. But look how nasty. And all the realtor that sold it did was paint the whole place with flat, which if you know any much about paint, watch this. Lick my thumb and there's a smudge. So we're gonna go over the whole house with this fancy primer I ordered. And then, uh, then we're gonna put the proper paint on the walls. Flat paint is great for ceilings and really that's about it but oh yeah here's the vent from that master closet that was closed right up in there right so this was closed for who knows how long but here's the white white side and there's the tar white and tar from cigarettes it's nasty All right you gotta check this out. So these outlets are white, right? Look at the face of it. That's all tar from all the cigarette smoke. It's just disgusting and you'll never get rid of the smell of the house unless you get rid of all of that tar you can. Uh, this was behind the fridge. This one was recently replaced, but look at that thing. And here's the face of the next one, those are like tar magnets or something. It's so gross. That's nasty. disgusting all right so here's some progress i've been gone for almost a month my kids have torn out the floor and all the baseboards which is awesome we're getting there so this house the company i bought this house from they you know they pulled these knobs and stuff off and they did just a quick flat paint on the whole thing it's not even primer but again, you can see how greasy and nasty these switches are. That is tar from cigarettes. Check this out. So I've got, they put on new switch plates because the outlets were kind of gross looking. When I pulled this one off, so there's the outlet, pretty gross. But look at the face, look at the colors. This one's clean and new, and this is just tar. I, I can just rub it off with my finger. It is so disgusting. And that is holding that cigarette smell in the house. Um, currently, I'm taking off all of the doorknobs, the doors, hinges. Look at these, this is the same knob, okay? One side, this was inside a closet, and this was out in this room. It's just covered 
with greasy tar. When it gets hot, I suppose that would just rub off. Um, let's scrape it with the old fingernail a little. I don't know, it's just disgusting. So, same knob right there. The cigarette smoke, the only way you're gonna get rid of it entirely is to replace nearly everything. So, we're getting there, getting ready to primer up. Still gotta pull down all the lights and fans. And we'll get it done, hopefully the next couple days. All right, so we're still working on the house. This is the top of the kitchen cabinets. Let me zoom out. So right here, I'm standing where the microwave would be. Here's Brooklyn. She's scraping <laughs> and cleaning this. This is all tar. We're using this stuff to clean off this cigarette tar. So she's been scraping that. I soaked this. And look at that. That's just pure stink. That's where the house the stink of the like house is it's so nasty like it, every one of these this is the grossest part right here and i'm gonna go over to the other cabinet counter cabinet top that i have not sprayed this stuff on yet do, 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 walking all over so this one you can see where they had some pots and things and clearly it's not dirt right so I just rubbed my finger all over it. I sprayed this on it. Let it soak a little bit. And just drag my finger through. You can see, oh, it's so disgusting. I'm gonna go soak my finger in a bottle of bleach, but there you go. That's how you get rid of cigarette smoke. So that was maybe two minutes of soaking with that degreaser stuff. I'll put a link down below to an Amazon thing where you can get some of it. So disgusting. Ugh. And it is like tar. You can feel your fingers are all sticky after just that wipe down. We're gonna have to do it quite a few times to get it actually clean. You should compare these two. This one isn't all the way clean yet, but that. <laughs> that is crazy. Gross. Oh yeah. Look at over there, it's under that towel, oh that gosh. paper rag thing. It's so gross. This is behind the fridge. So right there's where the fridge goes. And when you pull the fridge out, Brooklyn sprayed this. That's just tar dripping. And you can see it under the cabinet that goes above the fridge. So disgusting. Little bit, little bit more here. Brooklyn just sprayed the side of this cabinet. This is the one right here by the sink. Um, you can see it's just kind of splattered everywhere and it's dripping this tar grossness. There's one of the outlets and or switches. Look at the edges. That is so disgusting. Ew. This is 12 hours later, it's 5.30 a.m. I don't sleep much. Um, that uh, Zins or whatever, Zinsessen stuff. Zinser odor killing primer has really, really gotten rid of the majority of the stink of uh, smoke in this house. Um, I just showed you the video with it on the cabinets, it goes on white and it dries clear. 
So you could see it in the, like a few minutes ago, maybe I'll put a, another clip in. And it's smooth, clean, you can't see anything. Um, the cabinets, they actually look really good. Uh, let's see, I'm quite happy with it. Something that's kind of funky is up here. Um, so that's a shadow of this light, but I probably won't show on the video, I guess. There's some streaking from behind of uh, this nasty, uh, you know, they never properly wash the walls, I guess. There's some streaks right there from the old paint. You can see the yellowing from behind is just bleeding through. Once we applied this Zinsur stuff, there's a good shot. So if the walls, when I bought the house, <coughs> excuse me, when I bought the house, they had primed the whole place. And when they primed it, they didn't wash the walls. They just straight primed it. So these yellow spots are where it's kind of bleeding through where they didn't wash the walls at all. This wall looks absolutely horrible now, all the bleed through, but that's all right. We're going with a beige that's gonna be a little darker than what this is, but you can see how spotty, that's where the thermostat is. Um, if you're gonna put this on your walls to get rid of any kind of smell, make sure and really wash your walls well or plan on painting again. Pretty cool product, works well. The doors uh, have really cleaned up quite a bit. Uh, not perfect, but good enough. <laughs> he says, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Who's in here? What's it? 